Ultimate Combo. Welcome everyone to another episode of Twisted Gaming TV. Today we're going to do a video comparison uh, with my Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 arcade machine that has the Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 arcade boards inside it versus the Arcade 1-Up Mortal Kombat that has the Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and Ultimate on the Arcade 1-Up. Um, we're going to do uh, a sound comparison. We're going to do graphics comparison. And then I'm going to talk about how um, the difference is in the arcade version and the uh, the uh, arcade one-up version. So this will give you a really good idea how close or how far arcade one-up comes close to the real arcade machine. Does it come close or is it completely crap? We will check it out. This is the best channel for this kind of comparison because I have the machines. All right, let's get started. Round one, fight. Baraka wins. Round two, fight. Finish 
All right, everyone. Hope you enjoy the comparison uh, video. Let's go over it now. Um, so basically, I don't know if you can tell uh, on the comparison of the arcade and the arcade one up uh, the difference from sound. Uh, I can in person. I don't know if you can on video, but the arcade, of course, sounds way better. Uh, sounds more crisp and smooth uh, and rich uh, because you know it has two speakers and a uh, stereo sound, uh, and there's no mistakes on any of the music or the sound. Now on our, the arcade one up, when I was playing it, it would have sound glitches. Um, the sound would would freeze, and sometimes the sound would go out on the arcade one up version. So the arcade wins on the sound. Uh, graphic wise, I also don't know if you can tell between each, but also in person, the arcade is way better looking. Um, just because it's on a CRT and the game was meant for a CRT, so it stretches the picture, and there's no pixelation at all on the arcade. No pixels at all. Um, now on the arcade one up, it looks good on the video I showed you, but in person, it's really, really pixelated um, because of the uh, LCD screen. That's the problem with these LCD screens on these older games. Uh, they make the games look crappier because there's so much pixelation. And, you know, people, you know, told me before, you know, my machine, you know, has pixelation on it and stuff. Well, that's because um, those games are on a LCD screen and not a CRT like they were originally uh, developed for. That's why on the arcade, it looks way better. Um, the colors look better. Everything looks better. Um, uh, also, so the arcade wins on graphics just because it's on a CRT and the LCD makes it look a little crappier. Um controls now one thing i could pull off moves really good on the arcade machine um and i could pull off the fatalities pretty easy um on the arcade one up i was having a lot of control problems um and then i had a you know even though it showed me doing a fatality on the arcade one up it took me like three or four times to do it uh i just didn't show the the part when i couldn't do it but it took me about five times to pull a fatality on the arcade one up. Took me one try on the arcade machine. Um, the controls are really, really bad <laughs> on the arcade one up when you compare it to the actual arcade machine. Arcade machine is flawless controls. The arcade one up's really, really bad when you compare. Now, let's just say if you have an arcade one up or Mortal Kombat or whatever, and you're playing it or whatever, you know, you might can tell the controls are bad, but uh, you will not know if the controls are that bad until you play the actual arcade machine. Now, when you play the arcade machine, you're going to think the arcade one up controls are completely trash. That's just how it is. Um, and one thing I've noticed on the arcade version, which was different from the uh, arcade one up version uh, on Mortal Kombat 2 on the fatality when you spike them up to the uh, the uh, spike stage where the spikes are on the top on the arcade version the character falls off and falls to the ground on the arcade one up it didn't they stayed up there uh, and never fell to the ground I think kind of like the Super Nintendo version so I don't know why that is when it's supposed to be basically the same game on arcade one up but yeah it was crazy it was shocking because when i pulled the fatality uh the stage fatality on the arcade the guy would fall from the spikes onto the floor arcade one up it did not do that that's pretty weird now one good thing about the arcade one up compared to the arcade is it's cheaper it's 300 dollars for the uh, mortal kombat 2 arcade one up and I paid uh, $2,000 for my machine, okay? Another good thing that the Arcade Up wins is it's lighter. It's only 60 pounds. And the Arcade Machine is about 350 to 400 pounds. 
so that's a big deal. Um, but uh, if you don't if you don't have the money, or you know, well, it's also hard to find the real arcade like I got. It took me two years. Um, you know, arcade one ups a great a great thing to have if you want it. Um, it's cheaper. You can go to Walmart right now uh, and get it. So that's what's good about the arcade one up. It's uh, it's cheaper. It's lighter, and you can go get it today. Uh, compared to the arcade version, you can't go get it today. You just can't. And you gotta you gotta pay a lot more money too. And the upkeep's a lot more on the arcade. Arcade one up, you know, you can just hit it with a sledgehammer after it breaks, and then just buy another one if you need to. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the comparison. Please comment below and let me know what you think. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Always comment back. Until next video, see you later.